All right, welcome back. It's 14 minutes to the top of the hour. In keeping with its mandate of being the voice of the tourism business, the Tourism Business Council will once again, this coming September, host the 8th Annual Hotel Industry Conference Africa. That's HECA. This is an investment conference that brings together regional and international hoteliers and will be led by our new Minister of Tourism and some of his continental counterparts. Uh, this year, the TBCSA will partner with the Gauteng Tourism Authority in the lead-up to the event. The Chief Executive Officer of the organization, Ms. Machachi Ramawela, is here in studio to set the stage. Good to have you. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. And, and to the viewers this morning. An absolute pleasure. So, uh, last year's conference was a, was a huge success, I was told. Um, uh, are we planning on topping the success of that? How? How would you plan on doing that? Well, I think, uh, you know, to, this conference is always a challenge every year. You always say to yourself, what am I going to do differently this year? You know, and it starts with the uh, kind of topics you're going to have. And then, then it's followed by the kind of speakers you're going to have. Yeah. So this year, we, we think we actually have three major things that are going to really make this conference uh, the conference to, 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 to attend if you are in the investment community within the hotel and the hospitality industry in sub-Saharan Africa. One, we have six ministers. From the, from the region, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa coming to the conference. Mm, all uh, the tour, most of the, the tourism ministers? The tourism ministers, okay. the tourism and hospitality. You right. know, the portfolios are very different across the different countries. You know, we have ministers as far into Senegal, into Ivory Coast. Uh, we have ministers within the region from Zimbabwe. Um, we're also looking forward to get minister from Angola or the vice minister from Angola to, to come to the conference. And of course, uh, you know, our own very minister of South Africa and also minister of Tanzania. So we're very excited about that lineup because uh, one of the things why ministers are very important for this conference is that South Africa as an emerging destination from a hotel investment point of view, you do need uh, the politician to really come and meet with the investors, the hoteliers, uh, to talk about policy issues. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to be investing in your market, especially in the hotel industry, which is not very much in the forefront within the African continent, people want to know what kind of incentive programs do you have in your country. If I come in and invest, you know, am I able to repatriate my funds? You know, if, if you know, the amount of money, because hotel investment is quite a very big business. You know, people think it's a small, fry, it's a lot of money. It's almost, mm -hmm. you put it in the same scale as, uh, you know, investing in a hotel, yeah. uh, in, in, in an airline, for instance. Mm. So that's a one. But the other uh, exciting feature this year is that we have, uh, I don't want to say who, uh, but we have one of the biggest deals uh, of, in, uh, of hotel investment that has happened in Sub-Saharan Africa this year. We have uh, three of the big uh, leaders of that uh, industry coming uh, to come and explain the deal to, to South Africans and, uh, and our people in Africa. What does this deal mean for Africa? Because ever since that deal has happened, there's a lot of people clamoring, if you like, to want to come into Africa, want to explore, you know, how did you deal, do your deal? You know, how can we learn from you? You know, yeah. so that's one, one element. But the other element is also the topics that we, we're having in this conference. We're talking from ranging from how to build hotel in a sustainable, what we call the green hotels, for instance. We're also talking about the big issue which is affecting Africa. It's about what we call getting bums in bed getting people in the airlines, getting people into the hotels, and getting the two operators to pack at the destination. Mm. Those are the three, if you, if you are a tourism industry, those are the three uh, people who make your industry work or break. Yeah. You know, so we're having those kind of discussions. We're also having discussions around human resources uh, because people are at the forefront of delivering an experience in any country. And for Africa, our people are known for their hospitality and their smiles and, and, and their very friendliness. But there's training and skills in hosting and being a good host. Yeah. And we, we're also talking about that. I mean, that's year. what brings people back to a country. With all due respect, it's like you go out, you travel the country, and then you come back to that hotel you're staying at. And it's just that, that hospitality. It's that, that feeling that, in a way, you know, it's not your home, but you feel like you've arrived home in a way, and everything's comfortable and people look after you. And, and we need that service, that, that five-star service, even if it's not a five-star hotel, Absolutely. that we need to deliver on this, on, uh, on this African continent. Why is it a continental thing? Uh, it is a national organization, is that correct, here in South Africa? The TBCSA is a national organization. And what, what, what made us spread it out to the rest of the continent? One, because, as, as you, know, we, you know, we say this as a cliche, but it's true. Uh, South Africa is seen as the gateway to the continent. And it's more so in the hotel industry and the hospitality industry. So if you look at within the African continent, you're looking at uh, brands that are counted as among the leading brands on an international basis. A lot of them are here 
and in South Africa. And if you look at them in the last five years so, uh, or so, they've been expanding their footprint across the African continent. So the expertise is here. The major brands in Africa are here. So it's, it's, it's natural that, uh, you know, this conference, even this stage in South Africa, it becomes a continental because the issues are very much valid for the rest of the continent. But also because we want to share the knowledge. Again, because the expertise is here, we want to share the knowledge across the continent so that all of us as a continent, we, we lead uh, in terms of making Africa one of the uh, leading destinations for more hospitality and hotel investment. What are some of our challenges in, in terms of tourism? I know that our tourism numbers are looking good. Uh, we seem to have a lot more visitors into the country. But in terms of hotels, and particularly let's just look here in South Africa, what would you say are some of the biggest, biggest challenges? I think the biggest challenge at the moment um, is really, um, and post the 2010 World Cup, you know, we, 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 we had to build a lot of hotels. Yeah. So immediately after the World Cup, everybody was talking about an overcapacity, there's an oversupply, you know. But we're at the stage where, as you rightfully say, our numbers have been growing. We're sitting at plus 10 million uh, visitors coming to, to, to South Africa in particular. And they're not only to, coming to South Africa alone, they're coming to the region. Because, uh, you know, few people come to a destination to South Africa and stay. They will come here, they'll go to Botswana, uh, they'll go to Zimbabwe, they'll go to Mozambique or, or in other places. So we've dealt with that issue pretty much around the oversupply kind of a situation. But I think the big issue uh, from an African point of view in South Africa, I think skills is one of the issues. Yeah. Because, it's, you know, people think just because you are a wonderful person, you, you, know, you know how to welcome people, you know, that's all that is required. We mm. need people who are, for instance, on the hardcore side of running uh, our hotel industry, asset management, how to do deals, how to do, do, do transactions. You know, that's what we try and share in this conference. That we get people, you know, people don't understand that part of the business. They're thinking, well, I've got money in my pocket. Maybe I can go and lend money from the bank. Let me go and, and, and open a hotel. But it takes some skill to be able to run a hotel. Yeah. And some of the challenges we are facing, South Africa doesn't have much of that huge people problem, but the African continent, that is an issue uh, that we need to address. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to it. It, it, it. It's always a highlight. And I mean, the amount of, of income that it brings into our country is well worth us investing so much in tourism. Um, is there a website that people can visit if they perhaps want to participate? Can people participate? Absolutely. This okay, conference is uh, uh, people who are interested in participating, they can visit our website, which is www. Uh, www.hica.co.za uh, uh, okay. and um, really we, it's, 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 it's really invite people to really come and attend, come and learn, especially emerging entrepreneurs, come and learn what it takes to be in the hotel industry, whether in South Africa or uh, to learn expertise from other parts of the world and across the African continent. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Uh, Mamachi Ramawela is the, what was that? Machachi. Mamachachi. <laughs> Machachi. Okay. Machachi. I practiced this. I practiced it <laughs> 10 times. Machachi. And it's, oh, it's such a beautiful name. Machachi Ramawela, the CEO of the TBCSA. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you, being Leon. our guest here on Morning Life. Thank you Life. so much. Uh, talking to us about this uh, conference that's taking place it's in September. Visit the website. It's www.hica.co.za. Uh, All right, Andile, it's over to you.